Well, I'm Brooke Teeny. I have been a servant in BBS for three years now. I'm Erin Thompson. I have, this is now gonna be my sixth year. I'm Jody Yano. Um, we've been coming to Scioto Ridge since, I think, 2011. And I am Jeff Foster, and we've been coming here since, I think, 2004. Well, in Imagination Station, we usually take the learning point of the day and we focus it into some kind of exploration activity for the kids. It also allows them to take a Bible verse and try and um, see how it applies in their own lives. It also gives them creativity and allows them to use their minds to explore what we've brought to them within the story and with the special fun activities that we have. Games has just been kind of the fun thing to do. It, it's actually really fun seeing the kids uh, just kind of outside, running around, not really worrying about anything and uh, just kind of taking a break from everything just to have fun. I think it's really interesting to see the kids on day one when they come in and they might be a little bit nervous or not really knowing what to expect, but it's really neat to see them at the end of the experience, how much they've grown and how much, um, how many relationships that they have created through that fun process of exploring together and going through the whole VBS journey. It's so much fun from an outsider's perspective, I guess, to see the kids running around and feeling that excitement about you know really helping each other i guess because it always seems more like cooperative games mm -hmm. instead of super like we're so hyper competitive that it's really fun to see them kind of working together and encouraging each other hearing what they have to say um their excitement within even if it's not in our station mm -hmm. Um, I started out as a crew leader and you get to see them go through all of those different steps and they all like different things, which I think is what's unique about VBS is they, it can appeal to different kids in different ways. And then being the station leader, you get to see how excited they are with you, but then also hear their stories outside of what else they've done throughout the day. A lot of the, the um, youth volunteers have actually stuck out quite a bit because they've actually added to a lot and really gotten the kids involved and they kind of they relate a lot better I think and so um, that having the, the youth involved actually sticks out quite a bit to me that they, they just they seem to enjoy it and the kids really enjoy having them there. Mm -hmm. It really is all about the kids we all we all work together to make the best experience possible for them so that when they leave, they know God a little bit more, they're closer with Him, they're closer with that relationship that it's a little bit stronger than it was when they came. And they're more, more likely to come back to church, I'd say, okay. to join us throughout the, throughout the rest of the year. So it really is important to make it the best experience possible. Because it takes a village. I mean, there's no way and you know this as, as well as anybody. It, there's no way that any of this could happen without everybody pitching in. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to me the number of people that we get involved that week and how much we get out of it in addition to the kids. Um, mm -hmm. that, that always strikes me by the end of the week. We're all very close and, and uh, have Again, I think most of us have gotten just as much out of it as, as the mm -hmm. kids do by the end of the week.